yourself because sometimes you know some people just mess with you because they just mess with you your product might not even be all that a1 but they mess with you so they going they going to buy from you so marketing yourself is is pivotal is 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 very important so i say that to say this like a lot of people that i met along you know along this journey you feel me like if it came to a point down future in mind where you know i had you know i meet you i run into you and you you got business you got product like i'm not buying it you feel me because i know who you are you didn't market yourself you didn't market yourself correctly now you got a bad you feel me you got a bad reputation when it comes to business so Let's, let's just 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 think about that, man. Just think about that. Because sometimes a lot of people sit back and they blame others. They want to blame this person, blame that person. Like, damn, why this ain't doing? Why this ain't happening for me, but it's happening for that person? Or why this, you know what I mean, this, that? You got to check yourself, man. Look in the mirror, man. You could run around, you feel me, and move around and do all you want to change your name and all that. But that character... That person you portrayed yourself to be, you know, the first impression is the best impression, the lasting impressions. Yeah, man, a lot of y'all, yeah. Trust and believe, man, I'ma see y'all again. It's gonna come back around. But I'm telling you, man, y'all not gonna be in that position to even play ball with me. I'm telling you, man, my character is gonna take me way further because I got people, listen, 
you gotta think about like think about the ballers and stuff. You know when Biggie throw your rollie in the sky, right side to side, keep your ass out. Like everybody know a rollie is is a good asset to have. You know, I appreciate it. Jewelry, you know, I appreciate an item. So, you know, ever since the little nigga, you know, everybody want to get a roll, you want to get that nice watch, you feel me? You want to graduate. So, I'm doing, you know, work for a good friend of mine, you feel me? A stand up OG. So, I'm doing work with him, I'm locked in with him. We locked in, I'm talking about years now, you feel me? We locked in years. So we got to know each other, you feel I me? Mean? Got to feel my character, I felt his character. And then yo just kept telling me, you know, after a while, yo, I got something for you, yo, man, I got something for you, man, don't forget it. And I, you know, I just keep going, you know, you feel me? I'm like pumping myself up, you feel me? And he just kept saying, I got something for you, got something for you. So he called me over his crib, go to his crib, you feel me? He said, I got something for you. Boom. Go look at it, oh man, got me a Rolex, you feel me? He got me a Rolex. And it was based off my character, you feel me? It was based off uh, how I treated him, you feel me? How I made him feel, you feel me? Like, you know, you gotta, you gotta watch that character, man. It's very important, you feel me? Because it's gonna take you far. So with my character, it allowed me to get me a one of a, a, such a prized possession that you know a lot of people want. Like you can't even go to the rollie store right now and get a rollie. Like that's how back order day is and all that. But you feel me? I just say that to say you feel me. It's your character, man. You got your character is gonna be everything, man. You know it's a small community when it comes to business owners. A small community comes to people that's you know really. Having the day away, it's a small community. So I'm learning that as I'm moving around. So the people that you might see yesterday, you feel me? You might have to see them people again. The people that you shit on, you might have to see them again. Now, I'm talking about just business, on some business shit. Now, if you're doing bad business, you feel me? Like, yo. Now you gotta expect certain shit to get shitted on and shit like that. You feel I me? Mean? If you just ain't that type of yeah, man, and your, your reputation won't get around. So I just say that, man, I mean, I say this, man, like, you gotta watch yourself. Like even people that I used to work with, if I don't work with you no more, you gotta check yourself. You feel I me? Mean? Nah, listen, when it comes to business and getting money, I don't, like, I don't play all that. Oh, I don't like this person. I don't like that, this, that, that. Nah, it's like, is we making bread or we not? So if, if I'm not doing no business with you, that's because I can't make no bread with you. I can't eat with you. It's just something about you and your business that just ain't, ain't right. It ain't lining up with me. So my whole thing is like, if I'm the problem, I'm gonna keep it real, man. I'm gonna say, you know what? I ain't feeling this. I'm fucking this shit up, I'm sabotaging this shit, I ain't with this shit. But I don't go into shit like that, you feel me? Any business, I don't go into it like that. My, my, my main goal is to make fucking money, bro. I'm trying to make bread. All that other goofy shit, man, I ain't with that shit. And all y'all niggas, man, y'all can't low boy me. Y'all can't employ me, you feel me? Y'all can't, y'all can't, no, y'all can't do that. So anybody I'm doing business with, man, you feel me? Y'all better come correct, man. Y'all better respect me, man. Cause I'm definitely going, man. I'm gonna get it, yo. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give you what you're looking for. If you think you're gonna take advantage of me, I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you that. And then you're gonna realize, like, damn. Not only I can't play with him, I might, I might have to reconsider how I. How I conduct myself with other people because yo, I'm a kid real with you. Oh, yeah, all that blackball and shit, all that, that shit real, but you gotta understand some motherfuckers getting blackballed for a reason. Oh, you gotta watch how you treat people, watch how you carry people. In Baltimore City, anybody that's listen, I'm telling you, man, like, yo. In a matter of time, I'm telling you, all y'all motherfuckers gonna have to come back around. Y'all gonna have to stop at this gate and y'all gonna be like, damn. 
This nigga's at the gate. This nigga's the gatekeeper. And I'm gonna look at you like, did you get your business right yet? And of course, you're gonna lie and say, yeah. And then I'm gonna say, all right, man, show me this, show me that, show me this, show me that. I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna pull you a card. I'm telling you, man, y'all better stop that shit, man. I came from the street straight into this shit. This shit is a choice. I don't work for nobody, you feel what I mean? Like, I don't bow down to nobody. I chose to say, you know what? I'm gonna go check this field out. Let me see what I can do in here. I chose that. All y'all playing around, playing these games and all that, bop, bop, bop. I don't, yo, I don't need y'all. Name one person that could come on this, this motherfucking platform with a comment down below and say, shit. You needed me for this, you needed me for that, you need me for that, you rely on me for this. Nobody, man. I'm telling you, I got this shit out the mud. Learn, just learning this shit, man. Went in the field, bumped my head, everything, learning this shit. Just like everything else I've done in life. I ain't had no father to teach me how to ride no bike. I just hopped on a bike. Got my bumps and my bruises, but I learned how to ride. That's what everything I've done in life, bro, I've learned. So I have a proven method, a proven formula, man. And it brings me success. And it's based on education, man. I go out there and I learn. I educate myself. You feel me? I try this out, try that out. Ain't nobody just handing me nothing and giving me nothing, you feel me? And that's for anybody that's out here that's trying to get it, man. That's how you gotta carry it, man. You can't sit down here waiting for people to do this and do that. People gonna use you, man. They gonna use you, they gonna abuse you. You gotta get it on your own. You gotta get out the mud. You gotta build up your network. And your network is your network, you feel me? I'm telling you, man. I got relationships with so many different people in this city. There's just so many different business people that you feel all I'm doing is just putting the pieces together. And I ain't in no rush or nothing like that. So trust and believe all y'all people that I, I, I came and went, you feel me, and tried to low boy me or try to do bad business or just try, yeah, man, snake. Yeah, man, all this little clown shit, man. Listen, man, y'all gonna pay for that shit, man. Y'all gonna pay for that shit. That's on my, that's on everything, man. Y'all gonna pay for that shit, you feel me? I'm telling you, man, like, this journey just ain't start for me, man. I've been on my own, man. I've been on my own. And I don't need nobody to vouch for me or nothing, you feel me? I just, man, I just got that. Man, man, I got that reputation. I got that character, you feel me? But, you know... You know, I ain't, I ain't shoot an episode in a little while, cause you know, like I really been handling business. Like I really am linking with these other brands and you feel me? I'm linking with these other, these other programs and stuff. And I'm, I'm showing them, you feel me? I'm showing them how they could connect this and connect that, make this and make that. So like, I ain't taking a back seat to myself. I'm just taking a back seat to basically the camera, bro. Like I started this, I started this this platform because it was kind of like out of necessity. I'm here looking for talent. I'm looking for people to do shows, do podcasts. You feel me? And I can't really find nobody that's gonna be that's gonna be consistent. And not only consistent, consistent, creative, and push themselves. Like if you do a, if you do a, um, say if you do a pro- podcast on my network, you just don't show up, do the podcast, record, and that's it. You feel me? Like it's so much more going to building a product, building a brand. So if you got if you doing something with me like you gotta you gotta really I mean promote yourself, bro. 
promote yourself. You gotta promote yourself. Y'all be on Instagram promoting everything else, but don't promote yourself. Y'all be on your Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Don't promote yourself. You have to promote yourself. And I look at all this stuff when it comes to people that I work with. I look at, you know, their character. I look at their work ethic. Just see, you feel me, how, much, how bad do they want it? And 10 out of 10 don't want it that bad. That's why I had to start this, you know what I mean? Start my own podcast just to get things rolling on my end. You feel me? Now I'm now I'm in the field, so now I know, all right, all right, these, these are the analytics I need to look for. These are the platforms I need to be on. Okay, this is how I access this sponsor. That's what I'm learning, you feel me? I'm not waiting for somebody to do this and then I could know I'm doing it myself, so I'm learning, you feel me? Come on, what's this episode? What 2021? You feel me? Like, come on, I got people. And man, like, come on, they can't even get past episode 10, bro. Like, come on, man. Come on. I'm doing it myself just so I know how I feel to be in these shoes. So when the next person come up and say, oh, I can't do this, or I can't, and I'm watching them, they ain't doing, what's the excuse, you feel me? It's you, it ain't me, because I do it. You feel me? I do it. So, it, it, man, y'all got to get y'all hunger together. Y'all got to really want this shit. But if I'm dealing with you, trust and believe, like, I'm learning. You feel me? I'm in the field. I'm, I'm collecting data. So, yeah, you might come through. You might talk my head up and say, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We're going to do this. Bye, bye, bye. Whole time I'm collecting data, collecting data, collecting data. You feel me? So I'm sharpening, sharpening my tools, sharpening my tools. You feel me? That's what I mean. That's what the people in power do. They collect data. We give them the data. They collect data. They analyze it. All right, and find out how they can just better, better themselves on controlling the fucking population. So at the end of the day, man. <clears throat> number one, man, get your character together, man. Number two, man, get your business together, man. And number three, man, don't come the fuck around me if you looking for some quick shit or you looking for a handout. Don't come the fuck around me, I swear. I swear to you, you feel me? Because I'm going to see this shit. I'm going to see this shit from a mile away. And then I'm going to carry you. I'm going to carry you accordingly, you feel me? By the end of the day, man, yo, I'm a wolf, man, for real. Don't let me tear you to fucking pieces, man. I will, man. You see these canines? <laughs> Don't let me tear you to fucking pieces, man, because I will, man. Y'all play them games with somebody else. Because I'm, I'm really from that motherfucking school of hard knocks, man. Like, for real. So my whole thing, you feel me? I'm not, listen, man. I don't rely on nobody. I got my own budget, got my own bread, make my own bread, man. I know how to make this fucking bread, you feel me? So my whole thing is, I'm just applying my formula to other brands and to other people that's not making the bread. So I could take my formula over to your brand and may have a thousand more followers, two, two, three, four, five, ten thousand more followers, you feel me? And we should be able to make bread easy. But it has to be a combination that pushes your brand. It has to be your character, your brand, how hard you going for your business. You feel me? All this is a combination of how you gonna make money and be successful in this shit. Where you could just fucking retire off this shit, you feel me? You living good off of you just talking shit, producing content, you feel me? So, man, man, just, just know, man. Just, just know, ain't gonna take me too long to, to, to set up this network, you feel me? And to really have that shit on lock, man. So listen, man, y'all better, yeah, man. <laughs> Y'all better get with y'all better get with it, man. Get with it with the team. And to, you know, to my listeners, you feel me, like, it, yo, it starts with you, man. It starts with you, man. Watch how you carry people. Watch how you carry yourself. 
This shit starts with you. You are the foundation. You the basement. So if your basement shaky, your basement on mud and shit, that shit going in, man, that shit ain't gonna last. That shit gotta be solid. Gotta be motherfucking solid, man. I'm telling you, man. Once you solid, like, I'm telling you, man, people going, people going to be drawn to you. People going to respect you. People going to want you around. They going to want to do business with you. They going to want to see you eat. All the other haters and all that shit, they don't, nobody wants to see a hater eat, man. Nobody wants to see a, 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 a fucking person that's just terrible eat. You feel me? Like, it's, sooner or later, somebody gonna come around and try to take them out. You feel me? But if you solid, man, man, hold it down, man. Let your character precede you, you feel me? Hey, man, the Wolf of Charles Street, man. I ain't, I ain't really, I just really wanted to just touch base with the people, you feel me, you know. But, um, I got some other guests lined up, you feel me. It's just, I just been doing a lot, you feel me. And I love it. So when I say I'm doing a lot, I ain't complaining, you feel me. I'm doing a lot. Well, I love it. I love being busy. I love doing business. It's a challenge, you feel me. It's a challenge for me. It's exciting, you feel me? Like, damn, damn, how, how can I make 10,000 a day? How can I make 100,000 a month? How can I make a million, you know what I mean? Shit like that, man. You feel me? Y'all gotta find fun in this shit. Y'all gotta find the sport in this shit. Get, you know what I mean? You're gonna challenge yourself, man. Yeah, so we got a lot more coming, you feel me? Make sure y'all tune in to the other shows that I got on the network, you feel me? Still, still 100% looking for talent, man. Still looking for talent. You gotta be dedicated to this shit. I'm telling you, this shit ain't really on me, man. This shit is on how hard you go, how hard you take it, how, how you could transfer transfer your personality into content you feel me like yeah you funny well how funny is you yeah you intelligent how intelligent is you yeah you charismatic how charismatic does it transfer on the camera can you can you capture a crowd you feel me Tell me, man, if you you like that, you built like that, man, tap that, man, where you at network, I'm gonna get you started, I'm gonna get you there, but you gotta take yourself further than ever, you feel me? I'ma just make sure I had that motherfucking, you feel me? I had that, that setup for you, I'ma make sure you can monetize, I'ma make sure you ain't, you feel me? You on all platforms, everything you need to be in a position to go up, I'm gonna make sure I got that for you. But you have to turn up. You have to be consistent. You gotta build your fan base, you feel me? You gotta do that. y'all podcast. I don't care if you wanna talk about golf, you wanna talk about crickets, you want, you feel me? It's a niche for everybody in this shit and you can make some bread, man. You wanna start your podcast, you wanna start your talk show, you wanna do documentaries, you wanna do short films, you a writer, you an editor. Tap into the way you at network. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. The trajectory is going at ill. Where we gonna be at, man? You gonna wanna be a part of this shit. And all y'all motherfuckers who played around with my business, played around and shit, you feel me? Y'all done. <laughs> the Wolf of Charles Street, man. <laughs>